so today we're going to be making a vegan Bionico. I will leave what a Bionico is down in the description box below. Today you're only going to see my hands because I can't keep moving the camera and I'm letting you guys know what I'm doing. But we're just going to be slicing up all the fruit in, you know, small audible pieces. And I'll show you what we have. So we have an apple. I cut up uh, some of an apple that we had left over. This is a green apple, Granny Smith apple, uh, some melon. Papaya, which you gotta get used to papaya. I'm willing myself to like it because I know it's really good for me and it's really good for your skin. Um, these just have plastic on it. Maybe I should take the plastic off so you guys can see. There you go. Then I have two cartons of strawberries. The this is 16 ounces, so uh, two pounds of strawberries. I have a cantaloupe here in the corner that I'm gonna cut up as well, and a banana. And then also to make the cream sauce, since this is vegan, the original one has. Uh, cow's uh, milk base of milk, cow's milk base, yeah. Uh, so I just decided that I was going to try to figure out how to make it on its own, you know, vegan style. So this is just a can of coconut milk here and I'll show you guys how to do this in a second once we finish dicing. So you guys will just see my hands doing all the work. If you guys want to, to prevent browning of the apples and the bananas, you can always do some uh, lime or some leaven over top, but uh, it doesn't really bother me. It's fruit. It oxidizes. chopped uh, we're gonna pour and I just have a container that I could put in my fridge so you guys can see it uh, this is really easy if you also want to add yogurt in here you can I really like the thinner consistency for this so it's just gonna be one full can of coconut milk uh, don't do the light I just did full I know how they I know they have like light and full um, full fat so I, this one I guess is just a full fat one we are going to do a uh, no, half tablespoon. Well, half tablespoon of vanilla. You can taste it as you uh, go. Oh man. Sugar to sweeten this. So we're going to do a half a cup of sugar. You can also add more if you want. If you want to do brown sugar, you can do brown sugar as well. But this sugar just works fine. This is the raw. Um, Mira sugar. It's not processed as, as much. A little bit. And then you're going to stir it all up. If you want to add cinnamon as well, you can. I'm going to add a dash of cinnamon in here. Mix it all up. You can put this right in the fridge. And then I'll show you guys how to pleat it. Super easy, really pretty. You're going to need some granola and then also some shredded coconut. Full tablespoon vanilla, really good. You can add the, the cinnamon on top of the fruit if you want. Let me just show you how to plate it real quick before my camera dies. So I just have it in two different bowls. In the house, uh, some people don't like papaya, some people do. So I put the papaya with the melon and banana. And then this one has banana, strawberry, and cantaloupe in this one. So I'm just going to put a little of each. Um, you see we use two, two pounds of strawberries. Add some shredded coconut. This is from nuts.com. This is organic shredded coconut. We add it right on top here. And then I'm going to use some granola. This one's from Nature's Path Organic. This is the Love Crunch 
dark chocolate and red berries. This one's vegan. And then you can add the coconut milk drizzle. So I'm gonna do a couple, probably three tastes. Almost done. Right over top. There you have it, vegan bionicle. So let me show you what it looks like. 